I am very good at making games that aren't fun. Cataclysm is a prime example of this because it sucks. And obviously I don't want to make a game that sucks, so let's try to make it better, starting with the combat. For many years, Cataclysm's combat has never been more complicated than running around in a circle, because the slow forest elementals, the basic melee enemies can't get you that way, and it also conveniently dodges all projectiles. But the main issue was actually the forest elemental. It had way too much health for its own good, and it didn't even really do anything that made it fun to fight, and they were the most common enemy. So let's make them fun to fight. First of all, I gave them two new attacks. The explode attack fires four projectiles in all directions, making you think about dodging projectiles more, because no longer are they just shot in your general direction, there are now projectiles that do their own thing regardless of what you're doing, meaning you now have to think about dodging projectiles a lot more. The sprint attack makes the enemy sprint in your direction, but it won't adjust its trajectory, so it will just run until it hits a wall, and then perform the explode attack. The explode attack is also performed when it dies. These two attacks combined together make the enemy a lot more fun to fight, but it was still a bit boring. I realized that the main problem was that there were too many of them, so I made them a lot rarer so you don't have to fight them as much, but it also makes them more fun to fight because it's less tedious, you don't have to deal with heaps of damage in order to kill them, there's usually only 3-5 to five of them in a wave now. You might have already noticed this, but the game actually has art now. It's no longer just a bunch of random shapes, because it's looked like that for way too long. Kutlan has been doing some amazing work on the art and it looks so much better than it used to. It still has a few flaws and lacks animations, but it's still a work in progress. Also, if you're enjoying this video so far, maybe consider joining my Discord server for daily progress updates on the game that go a lot more in depth than this video does. Link in the description. Anyway, back to making my game fun to play. The secondary weapons were meant to be a super strong weapon that you could use to deal heaps of damage really quickly at the cost of some movement speed, but players never really used it much because when it ran out of ammo you had to reload it, meaning you had to walk around super slowly for a few seconds without dealing any damage, which was super dangerous. So I've changed it to make it so it slowly reloads while you're not using it, so it's a lot more usable now. If you watched Devlog 4, you might remember that a lot of the weapons were a bit rushed or boring because I added all the weapons that are currently in the game in a period of two weeks. So I removed the worst ones and I plan on giving the better ones an upgrade. The weapons that got removed are the burst pistol because it was really boring and basically just a revolver but slightly different, the devastator cannon because it was basically just the worst form of the cannon, it clearly did not deserve its place as a chaos variant, the wildfire because it was just a pistol with the chance of setting enemies on fire, which just does a bit of damage over time, the pulse gun because as I mentioned in devlog 4 it was a bit weird. It was a primary weapon, but it functioned more like a chaos or a legendary variant of a secondary weapon, and also needed a lot more work to be usable. The missile launcher, because it was really overpowered and not even that fun to use, and finally the hyper revolver, because it was just a revolver with a fast fire rate and it really wasn't interesting. Which means that the last chaos variant in the game is now the chaos blaster, which used to be the worst chaos variant, but it got a bit of an overhaul and it's a bit more interesting. I would like to make it even better still though, same with most of the other the weapons. I also added challenge totems. These are how you will fight most enemies in the finished game. There are two main types which have added. Battle totems are the most basic type and these will be the most common throughout the game. When activated they spawn two waves of enemies, both of which are pretty small. Danger totems spawn four waves of enemies and have a mini boss at the end which you have to fight. After finishing a challenge totem it will perform an action that I have set which will probably be something like unlocking a blocked path to allow the player to progress or revealing a hidden chest to reward the player with some cool loot. Next you should check out this video because YouTube thinks you'll enjoy it. Anyway, bye!